PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Great to see you here again today. Hey, you know how you have plans for cutting away there mine in your own business and you drop a hot lump of metal on your hose and you end up burning a big hole in it like this? And then the plasma cutter don't work anymore and then you get awfully frustrated. I'll show you a quick way to fix it guys, no worries at all. And remember, same as usual guys, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and hey, let's get into this, eh? So before we start repairing this big hole that I burned in here guys, I'll just show you a couple of things about these leads and what they are and what they don't do and what they do do. Because uh, some of you might not realise that uh, this is not just a normal hose. So guys, basically all I'm doing is just setting this up so that when I touch that and it makes a complete circuit, then we go down, you can see it going 000 or maybe 001, just be my 000, there you go. So then we've got a, a circuit, it's running straight through, basically 000. So in other words, we've got a complete short, in other words. I've got one lead on here, and then if I touch the other one on here, there we go. 0001 or 0000, zero, 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 zero. there you go, 0000. Zero, 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 zero. So what that's telling me is that from this here, from this fitting here to here, there is some sort of connection, there's a wire between here and here. Even though you might think that it's only a, um, it's only a hose, an air hose, but it's not. It's got a wire in the inside of it. It'll either have a wire in the inside of it or it'll be braided like a hydraulic hose. Anyway, I'll show you. So I'm not talking about the wire for your on-off switch, guys. That's a different one again. This is up here. I'm talking about a wire actually inside the hose here. So if you actually have a look, if I can uh, show you, can you see that wire inside that hose there, guys? There's actually a wire running inside of your uh, ear hose. See that there? See that wire there, guys? It's quite a thick wire. It's running inside the ear hose, and that's what gives the power to the plasma cutter head. So what we have to do guys is splice this hose and join it and at the same time keeping this wire all the way through so we don't get a break in the wire otherwise your plasma torch is never going to go again basically. And normally if you have a big hole burnt in like this, like I have here, then the wire in here is that brittle which is just going uh, to snap anyway. So if you've got some sort of cover covering your hose, like this is a nylon cover but you can see it's all burnt and it's all yuck. So uh, we'll just cut that back a little bit first. Why you don't cut your fingers? Because I've done that before today. <laughs> but you might not have this material on yours, but you probably have something that's covering your hose. It's supposed to stop you from burning holes on it. <laughs> yeah, right. Pull them back like that, so we can expose what we're doing there, guys. Now, while you're there, just check that the this is for your trigger. Just make sure that they're not burnt through, and they look half by reasonable. Just before you reassemble it, wrap some tape around that again, so we don't have any trouble with the trigger. So just grab it, guys, and cut the thing in half. Cut it off. There you go, just like that. See down in here, guys. There's actually a, a large, heavy copper wire running down there. I'll I'll bear it back a bit, and I'll show All you. Now when you're cutting this back, cut it back so that all of the burn is gone. So you're in a nice fresh part of the hose. So there's our manky burnt bit of hose guys. Get rid of that, we don't need that anymore Pete. And then if you look here, see what I mean? There's heavy wire inside this airline. So the wire runs up the guts of the airline. So the air goes out the outside of the wire, basically. And uh, yeah, so that's where they put the big heavy wire, right in the guts. So what you need to do now, guys, is go through your bits and pieces that you've got lying around, if you need like me. And all you need is a piece of um, steel pipe, something that conducts electricity, that's about the right size for your hose, and that we can splice the hose with. I mean, I've got all sorts of junk lying around here, but if you haven't got any of this sort of stuff, just use a, an air fitting like that, you know, the air fitting from the airlines, that it should fit either end as well. So just use an air fitting or something like that. And uh, even if you haven't got any of these, you could get can use plastic, but if you're going to use plastic, you're going to have to try and rejoin these wires together, but there is ways of doing that. I mean, it's pretty easy. You can just do it with a hose clip or something. Just um, insert your plastic either end, 
and uh, push it together and then put a hose clip around it or something like that. But I'm just going to use uh, this, it's as good as any. Conducts electricity, it's not plastic, so uh, I'll just use this. So before we splice it guys, you're going to need just a little couple of hose clips like that that you got lying around the workshop. Make sure you put them on before you start, because it's a pain in the ass trying to put them on after you've, um, after you've started. But I've done that before as well. And you get whatever you're going to splice it with. Pull out the pull out the cable like that, sort of just spread it out a little bit, and then push whatever you're going to splice your cable with in next to it, like that. And I just grab a hammer and just tap it in with the hammer. Just like so, there's enough uh, room in there to put my hose clip on. So I put my hose clip on. Do up the old hose clip guys, make sure it's tight. And make sure it's squashing the wire down onto whatever metal you're using to splice it. Beautiful, it's nice and tight. So we'll just do the other side now guys. So grab the other side guys and make sure you got your hose clip on this one. Because there's no coming back if you haven't got your hose clip on this one. Grab the wire that's sticking out of the hose and bend them over like that. So you got some room. And then join them up like that guys. Give it a bit of a gumboot. Push it on there as, as tight as you can. Do up your hose clip. Make sure it's tight. Beautiful. Like that, and that's what we end up with. See, we've got this wire here in the middle. So just tuck it over, like that. So not only is the wire touching, you're making the circuit with the steel you've got in between here for your splice or a piece of steel, it's also touching here now. So then I'll show you what else I do with this. So what I do before I wrap it up with tape, guys, I actually take a third hose clip and pull it to pieces. And see that and stick it around the wires as well. So we're joining the wires, we're pushing the wires back together as well. So do them up nice and tight so it squashes the wires down. Beautiful. Push it down like that. See you guys, so now we've got this holding this piece of pipe together as well as pushing the wire. This is doing it, pushing the wire, and this is holding the wire together in the middle. And just like I said, make sure that these uh, wires here are not cooked and they're not buggered. These still look all right. They're still hanging together. So uh, what I do now is wrap some tape around the whole lot of it, and then we'll see if the torch works, eh? Hee <laughs> So here we have it. We'll pull the sock up again, the uh, so-called protective covering to stop you burning holes in it. That doesn't work. <laughs> Like that, and then we'll wrap them up with some tape. I'm just using a standard insulation tape, just it's just quite wide, that's all. There you go. I mean, it doesn't look the prettiest. We'll see, we'll kick it in the guts and see if it goes, guys. Hee <laughs> hee! Let's see if it'll work. So if you do this guys, make sure you wrap heaps and heaps of tape around it and make sure the wires aren't damaged, the ones that plug into your switch. Because if you don't wrap heaps of tape around it and you touch the hose clips and touch the earth, you'll get an electric shock. So just uh, just be careful guys. So wrap plenty of tape around it and uh, make sure it's all insulated. So guys, that's just a quick way to uh, fix your burnt out plasma torch hose. But once again, I'll say again, remember plenty of tape, otherwise you're going to zap yourself. 
and I've only ever done this with the cheap ones, the cheap Chinese plasma cutters, so I don't really know about the other ones, but it does work on these ones. Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and see you next time. Peachtools.com.com.com.